Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming my July wrap up, which actually turned out to be the worst reading one this whole year. I only read 17 books while in all other months I think I'm in over 20, up in the 30s-ish. So it's not like 70 books is little, it's just like compared to the other months I read so little. July was just like not a reading month. I think I was quite burnt out from June and whatever thought, which I had a great time with, but I just wanted to do some other stuff in July. And I did read some books, but I didn't get to read everything I wanted to, and it was really frustrating. And I didn't even fill two pages in my journal, which I always do when I have my wrap up. But it's all good, it's all fine. I'm not beating myself up about it. I'm just thinking that I want to do other stuff and that's fine. But now in August, and it's only been a few days in August, I am reading like, my usual stuff and it's been so good and I feel so happy about it and I kind of had forgotten how happy I feel when I read a lot so I was just like why did I deny myself this happiness a few days ago but yeah it's all good and we're gonna go through all the books maybe this video will be a bit shorter than maybe probably not I would just talk more and uh, let's just do it the first book I read in July was Meet Cute Diary by Emery Lee. This one I read for the Best Wordathon challenge. It was to have a bookish word in the title and diary is like, you know, a book. Now I was very, very hyped for this. It has a trans main character and our main character Noah has this diary on this Tumblr called Meet Cute Diary. And that's where he puts many meet cutes for like trans people that they meet. And it's just like very cute and everyone's like, oh my God, all these trans people have found love and everyone's super happy. But it turns out that all the meet cutes he writes about is a lie. And then people start to like suspect this and they start to fake date this dude so that they will be proof that a real meet cute happened. And I don't even know, okay? I thought the concept sounded cute and adorable. And you know, you expect the main character to like, you know, learn and grow and it has like the expected growth because you know I didn't really get why he was lying in the first place like why didn't he just use submissions on his tumblr because that's what the tumblr was about and I'm pretty sure since he had like 50,000 followers or something people will have submitted stuff so I just didn't get that and I don't know my character was just really like rude and ungrateful a lot and it's not like I don't mind reading about a main character who is like, you know, not perfect because I think not everyone is perfect, obviously. But he was just very like privileged sometimes and he didn't realize it. Like he used like $400 or something more on like a week when he is away from his parents and then his mom is mad at him and he's just like, he didn't get it at all. And I was like, dude, stop being so privileged. It was just so rude and then he got to work and he was like really ungrateful for his work and I just like I don't even know it just rubbed me a wrong way sometimes and uh, The other love interest which I've forgotten the name of but the other love interest if you were the book was actually just the best and I loved that character so much and I just wanted more from that character like the whole time. I, I like the like representation, of course. I just thought it was cute and fluffy and I was more than not annoyed at the main character. So I ended up giving like three out of five stars, sadly. It's not like three out of five stars is bad. It was more like, I thought it would be like a really strong read for me, but it wasn't. And then the next one I read was King and the Dragonflies by Casey Calendar. And this one is kind of like a middle grade and we follow King whose brother died, Khalid. And then they also live like in a kind of, I would say small town where people are very racist and very homophobic. He has ended the friendship with his best friend because he said it was gay. And then it turns out the main character, King, is also gay. And then it's just him coming and internalizing this and like coming to terms with it. But it's also a really beautiful story. He thinks his brother Khalid has been reincarnated into a was it called a dragonfly so he goes out to talk to him but yeah i thought it was a fun and cute story it was also you know of course sad i had sanas over it but i didn't end up enjoying it it was like i thought it would be so i liked it a lot 45 stars and i just read everything case and whites forever i then read toilet bound hanukkah by aida iro which is how you would say it i guess and this one is not at all what I expected. We basically set at a school where they all set out like different mysteries or like wonders 
the school summon Mr. and Mrs. Ads, and then one of our characters go into a bathroom that they say is haunted, and it actually is, and Hanako Kyun appears, and then they kind of form a bond, this girl and him, like he's a ghost, and then they go around and like fight slash discover the other mysteries of the school. It is very, very cute, very fun. It reminded me a bit of Noragami, just like a bit more fluffier, just like the way ghosts and stuff was handled. And I wish really had a good time. It was not at all what I expected it to be. And it was really funny and cute. And I'm very excited to see like more of the series. I know also the series has like quite a few volumes out. So I would wonder how the series will develop if we will all just be in this school for like 70 volumes, not 70, 17, or how many volumes is out. It will be an interesting journey. And I am excited to continue. It was just very funny. I then and this was my Yalk book actually, read My Dark Vanessa by Katie Elizabeth Russell. I read it on the flight to Yalk and on the way back I finished it. Um, and this one just follows Vanessa who when she was 14 entered, or not entered, but became, became, I don't, I don't know the right word. She was in a relationship with the teacher who was like 41 years old. And now, later, like, when she's grown up, a lot of, like, Me Too things are happening. And people are, like, talking about their experiences. And it comes out, like, that he harassed another student. And then people, like, contact her because they kind of knew it was happening. But, like, yeah. And she's just like, mm. We also got a flashback of how this relationship started, how it developed. It is quite, quite, quite in detail. Quite sad, but very... Very interesting book, very fascinating in a way that like you read about this manipulation and you can so clearly see how it's happening, but it's like, it's not like you believe it because you know you're reading a book, but it's just like, you can just see how all the pieces fall together. And it's definitely a book you can talk about, but it's also of course very sad and like heartbreaking. Like, it's not like a cheerful read. I ended up really, really liking it. I thought it was very, 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 very good. And I, would recommend it a lot, but for people who are able to read it, of course. So yeah, it had a lot of important topics, but it was just really good. I think I gave that like 4.5 out of 5 stars. Oh yeah, I also read that for my reading favorite of Nikki's log, and also for that same log I read Anna of Green Gables by Al M. Montgomery, and this one was obviously the first one in the Anne series, and it just follows Anne, who's adopted by this couple, and... She's just living life and learning her lessons. It's almost like a bit like small shots stories where like she learns everything in like every chapter, at least in the beginning. Like they hang together, but they found like not the one lesson, but like one little story in each chapter. And I really like the vibe of that. It's really like cute and nice and just like summery vibes with her learning life and going to school and meeting friends, etc. like that. So yeah, I ended up really enjoying it. I think I am giving it four stars to round it up, but I think it's more like a three or five when I've thought about it more. We can just think about it as a four star, I guess. <laughs> and then read one of my favorites for the month, which was Boys Run a Riot, Volume 1 by Keito Gaku. This one also has a trans main character, and he feels like he really can't express himself, and people don't know how he really is because he's not out, and like people already bully him for being how he is, so he's just like not in a good place. Then this new guy starts in the class and together they decide to start this clothing brand because the, the clothes is a way for a main character to express himself. And then, yeah, it's just a beautiful story. It was just so heartbreaking to read. It's really difficult to read sometimes as well because of like the bullying and like all how people talk and how they are and it's like horrible. But I just feel the hope in the story so profoundly and I'm like so high for this clothing brand now and what to create together. So I'm so ready to read more and it was just amazing and I almost cried. So yeah, five out of five stars. This one I also read for the Nikki Favorites vlog and that was Brown Girls by Daphne Palazzi Andreades. And this one just, I thought would be like a contemporary story where we follow like a brown girl, different brown girls in Queens. It was not at all. It was more like a we story. Like the whole story is told in we. And it's just like, we went all went to school. We all la la la. And it's just like a profound community group experience of lots of different brown girls. Specifically from Queens. Like they all come from this place and like their whole life. Their whole life where they grow up, how they live as girls, how they speak brown girl, so many like, different things I mentioned in it. And it was just so beautiful. I was like reading 
kind of poetry, which is just, I don't know how the author managed to write it like this. It was truly stunning and very, very, very relatable, I guess and just a beautiful book. I feel like parts of this book really, really spoke to me and I just can see how it can speak to so many other people. It's very much I like, I feel this book strongly in me kind of book. And it was really beautiful. I really loved it. So 4.5 out of 5 stars for this one as well. I then read, if I can get the book out, Hello, It's Stuck, Light from Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. And this one also has a trans my character. I just like suddenly see a pattern here, no. And this one <laughs> follows, what's her name again? Katrina. And she ran away from home because she's not safe there because she's trans and she's being abused. And then she meets this woman, Satomi, who is a really, really famous musical violin teacher. And then Katrina is a violinist. I can't say the words. And Satomi also has a deal with the devil. So she needs to sacrifice all the students so she can, well, reasons. Reasons, actually. And then there's also these other people from another planet, which are basically aliens. And they have a donut shop and they have like a... <laughs> A ship. <laughs> I know, it's a sci-fi with also a deal with the devil, with also just a trans main character trying to survive. A lot of different vibes, you know? It's really, it's really funny. And I really, really did up liking it. I liked all like the different weirdness of it. You know, we have aliens, we have a deal with the devil. And I really liked our main character, Katrina. I wanted her all good in the world. There's a lot of transphobia on this as well that Katrina experiences. If that is difficult for you, again, saying it is in there. It is not said it's okay, but it does happen pretty frequently. But we have other people eventually backing Katrina up, which makes my heart happy. But yeah, it, it was actually a really beautiful story. It also has a FF romance. I liked it a lot, okay. Four out of five stars, I think. <laughs> I then read the next volume in Berserk, which I also have like a full vlog video up on my channel where I read it. And I really, really love it so much. It just basically follows Guts, who is a swordsman, and then it's him killing loads of demon things in the beginning. I don't even know how to describe it, like describe it to a person. But yeah, I have a whole as I said, video where I read it on my channel, but basically we are now like in flashbacks, seeing Berserk younger and I just love it so much. I love him so much. I love the world. I love the characters. I love how things are coming together, how manipulative it is. I like sneaky. I like the fights and the crushing and just the vibes, the, 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 the gay vibes, just saying, just everything. So yeah, five five stars. It is amazing. And I'm very, very excited to continue. And I read My Hero Academia by Koho Koshi, volume 30. And honestly, what the only thing I can say about this is that I think for the last four or five volumes, we have been in the same battle. We are still in this battle. I think we are finally coming to a close. And since I read them as they come out, I mean, this came out a little while ago, but it wasn't a line, okay? But as I read the volumes ish when they come out, it's like four to five months between every volume. Now I feel like I've read this battle for like one and a half year or something, at least a year. And I feel like I've just been stuck in this <laughs> limbo in this battle for a year. I feel like I would not felt like this if I read like them all just right after one another. But it's just like every time I pick this up, we are still in the same battle. And I'm just like, can we please end it now? <laughs> Like, I love my hair academia. I love the characters. I do want to see how everything ends. I just, sometimes in anime, I'm just like, yeah, I know people are going to get hurt. Can we just like, can we move on? <laughs> still enjoying it. I am still giving four out of five stars. There were reveals in this. Left me shook. So like, we are getting stuff out of it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that like, we are just in this arc. And it's just, it, even though it's probably like this compared to like, the whole series. We had like lots of stuff before that we have in the battle and lots of stuff after. Right now, the battle feels like this. I am loving it. I am loving it. It's just, it's just manga, you know. Manga is just like that sometimes. I then randomly reread Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chabotsky and I only read this because Jess was going to reread it and I was just like, well, I, I could reread it too. And then we decided to better read it. So we had a really, really great time. I, it's many, many years since I read it now. I read it when it first came out. As, as you can see, I have the arc. So yeah, I think it came out in 2019. So it's quite a few years ago, like three years ago-ish since I read it. And even like when I first read it, I actually checked my stats on it. And I read like a hundred pages each day. So I read like it over like seven days. But me and Jess, we just decided to read it over like three days. We're crazy. It's a really fast-paced book. And I haven't even said what it's about. So it's about Christopher who moves to a new town with his mother. 
and then he disappears into the forest and doesn't come out until like seven days later. And after he comes out, he's a bit different. You should see. And also maybe has a, an imaginary friend. I don't want to say more, but for me, if he's like Stranger Things meets like a Stephen King book in a way, maybe like it or something. It is like creepy and horry. It has plot twists that I had forgotten, even though I had read the book. <laughs> it is really, really fun. I just love how it all just like comes out and how it all comes together and really reading it I just remember how much I love the characters it's Christopher and his mother are some of the best characters I ever read about I cared about them so 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 much they're so good and I really really loved how the author wrote everyone he's a really relevant author obviously still not sure how I feel about the ending last time that turned me a bit off and I'm still not sure like what happened there I do enjoy the book I do enjoy it and I think I would give it like a strong 4.5 out of 5 stars but not completely a 5 star read for me but I would definitely recommend it tenfold I would definitely say it's really really good I think I could definitely see like if a person say they like something I could like easily recommend this and they will like this as well but yeah I really 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 do like it and it is just so fun to see all the pieces coming together how it goes from the beginning how that like, all like comes together and especially knowing how things will go you can see the foreshadowing so well love that love it then I read Plague Birds by Jason Sanford and this one is kind of set in the future where humanity I was gonna say mutated and have different animal tributes to them and we all like live in like different small settler places because we're all waiting for humanity to turn human more human again so they all just like need to live like that before they can like they can't go in like the big cities and stuff and playbirds are people with ias in them to go out and serve justice to society when people do wrong or etc like make sure everything is going as planned in a way and then we have a main character whose mother was killed by a play bird and that she also becomes one so that she needs to go out and like try to find her mother's killer as well as like other conspiracies happening and I do think the book was very original and fun I ended up really enjoying it I just thought it was trying to be a bit too clever whereas it was trying to have like manipulations upon manipulations upon manipulations I literally say this in a book and at the while it was just so like tangle up in everywhere that I was just like wait who was what 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 eh? but I did enjoy it I enjoyed like Red Day which is like the, the AI inside my character and I did like enjoy things happening because it was really fascinating and different so yeah I ended up giving it four out of five stars then I read Call Me Can Communicate by Tomohito Oda and this one is the first one in this as well I saw so many manga series I felt like now and um, we have socially anxious high school student call me and she just cannot talk she just has so much anxiety she starts to completely frozen i don't think she's like this cool queen blah 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 but she's just like literally cannot speak and then one of her classmates finds out he just transferred her that she cannot speak and then she says she wants or she writes that she wants 100 friends and they're gonna get 100 friends for her and it's really difficult because she like literally cannot speak and we just see them trying to make her friends etc and it's just very beautiful. It warms my heart a lot. Just see them trying to like befriend people. And it's like humor in it as well, definitely. But it definitely also has like a lot of relatable things for people with social anxiety as well, I would say. And uh, I really did enjoy it. Yay! And then I read Bluebird by Ciara Pierlot, which was the Facing Gates pick for July. What to say about it? I don't want to like spoil all my thoughts before the live show. I think how this is promoted is not what we get in the book and that let me down. But like then I got over that, but then I just thought about the book a bit and I was just like, mm. it was actually just a bit boring. <laughs> we have a main character, Rig, who was like a gunslinger, alpha, or thief, it says. And then like another girl comes on her ship and um, there's these people blackmailing her because I have a sister. But really, I feel like <laughs> that didn't happen to quite late. I don't know what, I, what I'm telling you. And I should just try to save her sister, basically. That's what it starts out as. But yeah, I did enjoy it. And I think, I'm not sure about my reigning yet, but I had fun with it. It was a fast paced, good book. Yeah, that's what I got to say, but... I need to like collect my thoughts more for the lie. I like kind of know what to say there as well. And then I read the Mindfuck series by 
Asiabi or Stabi, which I read for Clitlit Literature Club, which was our July pick and our live show is the 11th of August. I will leave a link down below if you want to check it out. So basically I read the whole thing for that and again we don't want to spoil too many thoughts before the live show but really like it was a dark romance because our main character is like taking her revenge for her well they tried to kill her and they raped her like a billion times and then she's like killing all the people who did that to her and then she starts dating the FBI agent on her case and it's like you thought since she's like goes around murdering people and like everything like that yeah I thought it would be a bit more like you know kinky hardcore sex it's like super vanilla sex and I was just like that is disappointing <laughs> but then yeah it was more about like her revenge and the characters than anything else could have had more spice level definitely and um, yeah, we were discussing, I think, every story in the live because it's like five shorter stories, five parts. So I think we were discussed every part. But after a while, I was kind of just like, is this over soon? So yeah, but I was like actually pleasantly surprised in like the first story of how much I was enjoying it. But then um, tables turned, I would say. And the last book for July was Demon Slayer Volume 10. And now we are in the entertainment district arc, which I am enjoying, and it's really fun. And yeah, it follows Sandra, her whole family was killed by a demon, and then uh, accepted it, so it was turned into one and wanted to turn her back into a human. And then it becomes a demon slayer to like work closer with like the demons to like find out a cure for her. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful story. I'm enjoying it so much. So yay! That was the last book for the month. I read different kind of stuff, and I enjoyed most of what I read. But yeah, not that much. But I think in August, I'm kind of already redeeming myself. I'm having a great time though, so we shall see. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a apple emoji down below if you enjoyed this. <laughs> and you will see me soon in a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.